in Fall Guys! Woo! So of course I convinced my mates with Dune, Jeremy and to join me in Fall Guys! The format of Fall Guys is quite similar to a lot of games. It is simply an amalgamation of mini games designed to cause you as much emotional pain as possible. And of course, the goal for the game at first was to win a squad game where you're in teams of four and have to try to win. And how do you win? By being the last one remaining! So the first mini game was this scuffed rolling thing where all the different colored platforms would move in opposite directions to each other and they'd be littered with obstacles such as walls, gaps to fall through and hammers and <laughs> yeah, walls! Honestly, I should have survived there. But one unfortunate difficulty of squads is that you have to rely on the performance of your teammates, which considering most of us had only owned the game for about five minutes, was not very reliable. So we ended up being eliminated right away. And our next squad's game didn't go any better either, as this was the doors mini game, where these chaps somehow knew every door to go through. There must be some algorithm they analyzed or something. But because everyone arrived at pretty much the same time, the amount of points we got was quite limited. So to warm each other up to the game, we figured we should play solos first in order to grasp and comprehend the game properly. We weren't teaming, we just had more a mutual agreement that it would be one of us to win, rather than some other random guy. So the first game we encountered was this odd medieval map, where we would dodge axes and have to get past these wooden log things with massive spikes on them, which I struggled with a wee bit, but then these drawbridges gave me quite a bit of trouble, but not enough trouble to kick me out of the game! And turns out, I was actually the last of our squad to make it in, which meant that all four of us had not only survived the first round, but would actually live to see the second one, which was this matching game, where the fruits on each platform would flash up randomly, and would have to stand on the correct fruit shown on these screens, or else, we'd complete the game's name, and truly become a full guy. And because of my ingenious, I had already figured out where each fruit was located, and as such, when an apple appeared on the screen, I didn't even flinch! And that was, in fact, the case for the other fruits too, but not Jeremy or Josh, as they both ended up being thrust out the game. It was just myself and Rathoon left to carry out our team's hopes of winning on our back! For the OGs who saw my Hypixel Party Games video, this game is simply that cannibal game. Except instead of blowing you up, the massive items just blooming knock you off the map! Fortunately, this was a game where both Rafoon and I survived, so our team's hopes were still alive with us. And to end it all off, a game of Minecraft spleef. This was it, the finale, and our last hope at winning these games for our teams. I instilled a tactic of jumping on each individual platform, which worked well, um, until it didn't, uh, it's fine, right? There's still a handful of platforms left. Oh yeah, it's all great until it isn't, what? Uh. We had disappointed our team, both of us, as neither of us had won, so our team had to redeem ourselves. The next round that we tackled was this funky obstacle course, where you had to go around these spinny things and dodge these balls. What's down there? I don't know, because I never fell down there, and I am not a full guy, even though I did just fall there. But despite that, both Rakun and I got first and second, with Jeremy coming up in fourth, and we don't talk about him. So our squad had finally been able to make it past the first round, and after letting the random wheel of minigames select the rolling game again, all of us had flashbacks to the squad games. However, what we forgot is that our points weren't bound to each other anymore, and as such, we all stormed ahead as fast as we could. And look at this, I was able to avoid all the previous screw-ups I had on this map, and then ended up scoring first and second place with Rathoon again! And where did- No! And Jeremy snatched up 10th place soon after. We were making it pretty far in the fall, guys, and that would continue in this fan map, where you had to run around this ring and hope that this fan thing didn't knock you off. A game which I struggled with quite a bit, but still qualified. As for my mates, yeah, they're here too. So now we made it to the semi-finals, where you had to guess what on earth these block things were. Or else, you fell off L plus ratio plus no one asked. And despite me leading the pack for a little while, all the chaps had not realised the routes to make it, whereas Jeremy did. And as such, using his spectator mode perks, he showed us the route. Jeremy and I made it in, but even better, is now living dead. So three out of four of us had made it to the grand finale, where you had to climb this mountain, avoiding all the obstacles we had previously encountered. This included the balls, the hammers, the walls, but as you can clearly see, I was leading the pack, but so was Jeremy, and we both missed at the end. But don't worry, our squad would still end up winning, as Brethoon didn't miss. We had won a game on four guys. Well, the crown didn't show, show it, but we ignore that. Spiritually, we had won a game of Fall Guys, and I must say, this game was far more fun than I first expected. Like and subscribe, chaps, or else you'll fall off L plus ratio plus no one asked. <laughs>